Hi, my name is Dave Anthony and thanks for joining my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to give you a brief review of what I think of crosswords for the DSi. It's also got, um, looks like, two other games, Word Search and Anagrams, but right now my addiction is squarely on the actual uh, crossword itself and you'll find out why in a moment. Oh, by the way, if you want to learn anything about the DSi, then check out my favourites and look for Izzy1985. He's got a whole stack of similar reviews and I think he's talking about the DSi and some of its new features, you know, as compared to the previous one, which was the DS Lite. So, that's what we're going to do. Okay, so what I'm going to do is turn on my DSi and go straight into the game, which, by the way, I've loaded in the back there, little memory card. Basically, ooh, I don't know what happened there. There we go. I'm going into the crossword. It says crossword Nintendo DS. So I select the game. I'll turn it up this way because it's like a book. See on the left hand side of the screen, you're going to have um, one set of information, I should say, like the, the clues and stuff. And on this side, you're going to have the grid where you put in your, your crossword answers. Now if you want, you can go in and do some training. I didn't really feel I needed much training for how to do a crossword, but there are certain things you might need to know as far as playing the game on this DSi. For example, it's got a touch sensitive screen that allows you to draw the letters freehand and it gives you an idea of how to you know, learn each of the three games. You've got the, the crosswords, the anagrams and the word search. And, it, and as you can see, it just talks you through the screens and it tells you what you're going to learn next. And all you need to do is just follow. All right? But I'm not going to go into the training, so I'm going to exit and go straight into the game. I've got one that I saved earlier. There's David. Choose crosswords. It's found a game that I saved earlier, puzzle number 56. And I've started on the medium setting because I find the easy setting somewhat remedial but it's good for younger children if you want to get them interested in you know spelling words correctly and the relationship that exists in crossword as far as you know letters that link words together and so on so I'm going straight into what I did before now down on the left hand side of the screen it gives you the, the clue which is going across you can see the little characters there and then the down clue is, is represented by those three little down tiles, not right near the stylus. And when you flick over here between across or down, you know, this screen will change to show you which of the clues you're focused on. So, for example, if I want to find out what a cookie might be stolen out of one, then I want to make sure that I'm in the down position so that once I've selected a letter, I think it's jar. Look, I'm going to do A, and then it automatically moves down. That's why you need to use down and across. So I'll put the R in there. And then I can zoom back out and I can see where I am in relation to other words. So just diving straight in, I'll, I'll select R. I'll choose across. And you'll notice that it highlights it there as well as to which direction you're going in. Um, and here's the clue for it. He has blank to the highest rank. Um, not too sure what that one is, so I'm going to basically go along and try and find the the down answer for the middle one there, beginning with O, because that way I might get a chance to find out what this word is across if I know what that letter is. So, looking over to the clue, high in the middle, round at the edges. So what could that be? Still not sure. Um, go across. Captain looking for a whale. Got no idea whatsoever. So I'll select that and go down. See if I can get something that way. My agent acts on my... I think that's behalf. So I'm going to type in there, B. And it is. If you make a mistake, say I spell behalf with an I instead of an E. It'll just make a funny noise and it'll go red. What you can do is you can just draw over it like that for the correct letter. And it'll accept it. Um, or, like I said, if you've done it wrong, let's pretend it's T, it's not, then you can hit the Erase button and then put the correct one in. 
<clears throat> sometimes when you draw letters it doesn't always understand what you're trying to draw for example an E and an O is common um, and sometimes if you don't actually curl the T properly um, to an F then it won't recognize it as an F but you'll, you'll very quickly realize how easy it is to you know freehand the letters um, so let's say I want to go across I want to work out this one here uh, might have pointy ears and curly shoes I think that's elf so I'm going to type in elf E L F and I'll zoom back out I'll do the down a person lacking skip pigmentation um, not sure what that is let's try a cross instead